and their accuracy. So in summary, um, at this point, um, just to quickly summarize, th um, these are sample temperatures uh, taken directly from uh, say, weather forecast, you might print out at weather.com. Um, and so if, it, if, this was, if this was, say, uh, September 15th, then the one day forward is the forecast for tomorrow, and then the next day, and then the next day, and then um, we fill in what actually happened. We have to wait till the 15th is over in order to do that. So that, that's, our, that's our raw data. And then we translate that into um, uh, all of the one day forecasts, uh, all of the two day forecasts, all of the three day forecasts. And, and, and so the, say for instance, a three day forecast for the 13th occurred on the, uh, uh, the 10th and it was the, the three day forward forecast. The, um, the, the three day forecast for the 14th occurred as the, um, um, uh, on the 11th and then, and then the three day forecast for the 15th occurred on the um, 12th. And so that's how we filled, filled, filled this in. We then subtract what actually happened to, um, uh, to the forecast, calculate out a mean difference, um, and the standard deviation. And so we've, we've, set, th we've set this up. Now, I, I want to, to, add, to, to say a couple of things. First of all, this is just a subset of data that I would uh, expect. I would want you to do a full seven days. I'm just doing three days here just to kind of show how it's done and so I can show you the whole spreadsheet all at once. Um, the other thing is, is I would expect this same analysis to happen for high temps, low temp, and cloudiness. Um, so what do we do from here? So we have our best estimate for the difference of, say, a one-day forecast is this, two-day is, is this one, and, and, and three-day is, is this. And we can see uh, in, in each case we have, um, <coughs> sorry, the, the forecasts are underestimating the value. That's why we have minus sign. If they were, all, if they were plus, that would be an overestimate. But these might not be s significant. Uh, overestimates it might have just been, you know, they might be close, um, uh, but you know, now you know if if it happened again, it might be it might be an overestimate. So so how do we know? How do we do deal with this significance? So the easiest way to do this, and this will be approximate, and will get better and better with more data, is the following: we we'll have our best estimate, and we want to estimate our uncertainty in that estimate. It's and the way we the way we calculate that is we take the standard deviation, we divide by the square root of the number of data points, and we get what I'm going to be calling sigma, which is the uh, uh, level of uncertainty of the um, um, of uh, of the estimate. So here I've set up you know part of the the, the notebook I've added. Uh, a column for n, which is the number of data points, and here I'm, I'm not just putting it in by hand, I'm letting Excel count the uh, number of values, uh, non-blank values across the uh, um, thing, so I get, so we'll get a value of n, and now sigma, which is, this is the Greek letter sigma, is calculated as the standard deviation over the square root of the number of data points, so we get that, and we can copy that equation down, and we, and, and we do that. So, so this is related to the uncertainty and there's a couple different ways that we might write this and how we might interpret it so so let me scroll down and show you kind of how how that how that would how that would work so the first thing I'm going to show is uh, what, what I call the 68% credible interval and essentially we have the the mean value which is which is the same as the one up, up here I just I just copied it and then we have um, uh, that's our best estimate for the difference. We have mean minus sigma, so that one is the uh, uh, the the mean value minus the uh, uh, the uncertainty, and then mean value plus the uncertainty. So within the sixty eight percent percent interval, we have uh, essentially a range. So our our best value best estimate here is negative five point three three degrees. Um, so it's an underestimate, and and within this uncertainty, it's 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 still all negative. It's so this would be, uh, uh, um, you know, it's kind of roughly confident. You know, 68% is not great, um, but that's the uh, um, 
you know, confident that, that we're underestimating, as opposed to the one-day forecast in this example, where, where, you know, within the uncertainty, minus sigma, mean minus sigma, and plus sigma, we actually include zero, and that means zero would be, you know, no bias at all. Um, and so this is, there is not strong evidence that this, you know, minus sign, this underestimate for the one-day forecast is at all uh, uh, significant, even at the sort of pretty low standard of a 68% level. The shorthand for this is the following, negative 5.33 plus or minus 1.33. So that's the, that's the value of the, of the, of the sigma that, that we're doing. And this is how you would often write it. And if I were to make a table of essentially the, you know, what's my best estimate on uncertainty, this is what I would, this is what I would do. I would, I would, I would copy this. If I want to test for significance, I usually want to have something that's slightly higher than than 68% confidence. Uh, um, and so, so if I go out two sigma, so minus two sigma, uh, um, then then this gives me my 95%. Uh, interval and the three-day forecast still is negative within this with this entire interval so we can say it is at least statistically significant in this case that we have a uh, uh, that we're underestimating so we have um, uh, but it's not significant at the 95 level for the two or one day forecast so what we have then is we have uh, essentially a, a, a few things that that we can um, um, that, that we can uh, uh, conclude. The first thing is that we have a um, uh, growing uh, difference in time for, with the forecast. Basically, the forecasts are getting worse with, uh, um, with, with time, at least in their mean value. Um, and in this case, they're, they're all underestimating, although you can't, you can't really say the one and two day are really underestimating because it's not statistically, statistically significant, but we can say that the three-day forecast is, 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 is underestimating. Um, we can also look at the standard deviation for these things, oh, and, and the standard deviation is roughly constant. Uh, it's actually it's a little bit bigger. For uh, for two and three day forecasts, a little bit smaller for one day, and there's a, there could be a test for that, but I'm not going to get into that. Um, and and so essentially, we can we we can roughly say that that the variation, not just the mean level, but the variation grows with the uh, 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 time of the of the of the forecast. Um, and it, this these are relatively small differences. Uh, comparatively, so uh, it's not a, a, a very strong statement. Of course, we're only dealing with a few data points in this example. I would expect that you know, with with more data, that the the message would become clearer. Um, and uh, but that's but that's uh, um, how you would how you would do this analysis. So, um, in in uh, if you were writing this up for a paper. You wouldn't include all this data and all these calculations. You would pretty much just include the shorthand version, uh, putting in the units, you know, you know, degrees Celsius or, or Fahrenheit, uh, um, with that, so that you have the best estimate for the how good the forecast is and the uncertainty, and that would uh, uh, in that in that. Um, uh, case and you may, in talking about variation, you may uh, uh, look at the, the the standard deviation for that. So that's those are the pretty much the things that I would look for um, in any kind of analysis of this data, and I would expect uh, as the project you know uh, progresses uh, when we get up to around you know twenty to thirty data points that the the message will become clearer.